This is our Forex blog for October 20th, 2017. And just want to point out some of the trades uh, in the currencies this week. Here's the euro dollar. And one of our focuses is mostly trading with the trend, but we have a lot of good counter trend uh, methods as well. Fibonacci based targets and using our statistical tools. And in what we're focusing on is trying to find patterns that, and there's over 6,500 of them now, that work well over 50% of the time and have one and a half to two times bigger wins and losses. So you can see small win here, uh, 30, 40 pip win here, 40 pip win here, 10, 15 pip win here, eight pip loss, you know, 20, 25 pip win, five pip win, 10 or 15 pip win, pretty much break even or five pip loss. It ended the, this trade here at the break even. Here's the pound. You can see the previous day. Mostly wins, small ones, except for this huge 50 pip win, 5 pip win here, probably 8 pip loss. I have a small loss here, small win, small win. Uh, the older patterns that have had more time to see how well they do in the future will show up as red or green. And the newer trades, which haven't had time to show whether they work in the future, only back tested and you know, maybe worked on for 6 months or a year. Uh, it will show up in orange. Here's the uh, dollar CAD. You can see the previous day pretty choppy, but very s few losses, small wins. Um, dollar Swiss caught that move here. Huge win, small loss, small win, small win. And usually we avoid when the market's uh, moving up and down rapidly due to news. These are range bars, so any bar more than five pips is a big gap in price. We avoid those trades. They're very risky. Um, you, but you have small loss, small loss, small win, small win, nice win, win. Pretty much break even. 10 pip win there. Nice trend trade here. The market's trending down. The market consolidates. We have a nice little double top right here. Go for 25 pips. And you can look at daily charts, uh, hourly and four hour charts, and take the trades that fit uh, what you think is going to go on with the, with the market. For instance, in this one, let's take a look at uh, a 60 minute trend, for instance, or a 60 minute chart. days on there so you can see uh, this has been uh, it had a little double top and today the market uh, it never took out the highs from last week the market uh, in this range here is underneath the 50% Fibonacci area and so this is a pretty high probability trade on a short-term basis you're, you're more apt to take that trade this to another chart and we'll look at some other ones here. You can use our signals combined with some other information to improve your odds is what I'm trying to get at. Here's the previous day of a small loss. Unfortunately we missed some of these big moves. Small uh, break even here, small win. Small win, small win. And uh, this one, bring up the daily chart, it's very or hourly chart, it's very clear to see that the trend is down. And so when you get a high probability trade, uh, you know, these are high, very likely to work and they both worked. You can pass on trades and skip them uh, when the odds don't look to be in your favor. There's the previous day, really huge uh, 75 pip win, 10, 15 pip win here uh, today or on Sunday, I'm sorry, Friday, uh, small wins, small win, small win. There's the pound yen. Small loss, small win, small win, small win. Here is uh, the Australian yen. Previous day, you can see a nice 20 pip win, 40 pip win, 10, 10, 20, maybe 5 or 10, 5 here, 5 here, 8 or 10 pip loss. We have a loss and then a small win. This one ha had a really nice day on uh, Thursday and late Wednesday. Huge. Uh, 50 or 60 pip win, small loss, and you're trading with the trend. Uh, 20 pip win here, 5 pip win, 50 pip win, 
uh, small APIP loss counter trend trades are, are risky so you know you might not have decided to take that one uh, a lot of our counter trend methods work small break even or two or three pip loss here and you know it's clear to see the trend is down so when you get trading patterns that day you want to take those here is uh, the CAD yen previous day small win huge win you know mostly wins small loss and unfortunately you know we missed this trade here which would have been nice but uh, and if I was trading I would have taken a trade around here uh, mainly because it's uh, slightly above the you know it's right near the 38 percent Fibonacci level All right, so we got a small win here small loss previous day a bunch of chop but mostly wins and here's the um, euro pound and let's take a look at the, the hourly chart when you look at the hourly chart uh, you know it gives you a much better picture here you can see going into Thursday you know the market went up went sideways went up went sideways there doesn't appear to be much selling if you look at that as you would have seen live right now you would have expected it possibly to resume its downtrend right at the 38 percent but it's not so when the markets are typically stall and then continue their trend they don't they tend to go the other way it's pretty common sense here it went up to the, the 50 right so it's likely to pull back at least 38 to 50 percent of that move but it's not it's going sideways so that previous day when you see the market break out and take new highs and it pulls back and our patterns give you a buy pattern it's very likely to work and you can see it trended up uh, even if you don't take our counter trend signals they oftentimes make uh, the perfect place to get out of the trade but you would have probably maybe made or lost two or three pips on this one lost five on this one trends up you can take the next buy pattern if you don't feel comfortable you can always kind of just draw or visualize you know a trend line over top of the highs and when it breaks out of those you might go along right here at this bar 1133 you know the stops right underneath the bar very low risk and you also have the benefit of knowing where the Fibonacci profit target is if you get in that trade the stop is right at the 38 percent and then this makes a very good profit target and you have you know 10 20 30 32 pip profit while risking eight pips so it's about a 55 60 percent odds trade and it's if it works it's likely to give you two and a half times bigger profit than risk that's really the only key to trading 